All right, welcome. I uh, got the Astro Blaster fam with me, and John Galan and Helena Wu. These two are Dispo royalty. These guys have been doing phenomenal, phenomenal work uh, for a long time here, and we just wanted to have a quick chat with you guys to let you know what's new and imp- what's up, Henry. What's new and improved in the world of Astro Blaster, and uh, new improvements, new tools that we're going to be bringing to the community. And so, uh, welcome, guys. Wanted to. Uh, have this conversation and let the community know all about it. Why don't we uh, introduce ourselves and go, d- go down the line for anybody who's not familiar with who, who you all okay. are. Um, my name is Andy Wrong, and I, just a quick intro for me, I started, um, I actually found out Jamil through the Wholesale Genie, um, and it was about three, three and a half years ago, yep. and I saw you on YouTube, and I joined on, and the first couple months I didn't have any success, and then I joined back. <laughs> And uh, closed my first deal and then created a system out of that. Um, did pretty well for my wholesale company. And then now that system's in um, thousands of other wholesalers' hands and they're making millions of dollars from it. So that's kind of my, uh, my, my story. Right yeah, there. You're the, uh, he's the, actually the inventor of Astro Blaster. So that's the system he's talking about. It's the Astro Blaster system. So good job, Andy. You did, you did good. You did good, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and my name is Ethan Armijos. I found uh, Jamil through a couple podcasts and was in the mortgage industry prior to getting into wholesaling and just wasn't really, for me, didn't necessarily feel too satisfied and honestly wasn't going to lead me to the life that I wanted. So I uh, got involved with Jamil learning wholesaling and I would say a couple months of just doing uh, what, what he loves and teaches, which is agent outreach, uh, just doing it the old fashioned manual way, just wasn't getting me the result I wanted. And at that point, that's when Astro Blaster had just hit the scene, became an early adopter. And at that point, uh, led me to my first deal. And after that, many deals and at the point to where uh, we're doing a consistent amount of deals per month, completely automated. So uh, that's why I've loved AB. And at this point, just want uh, to get as many people uh, to have the similar success uh, with the SISM as well. Who are you? That's my dog, Henry. He's just using me as a chew toy right now. So we'll move on to Helena. Hi, everyone. My name is Helena Wu. I came from the Wall Street background, was working on Wall Street before in finance and, you know, came across uh, the commercials from Jamel and got to learn more about his astro flipping program and started this wholesaling journey. It's been going well. I was able to quit my W2 job and do this full time. And now I'm the co-founder of Easy Res, which is a wholesale operation uh, in Florida market, we're doing deals all over Florida with a vision of building it as a national franchise company. And we are really specializing in this position. So it's a great honor to collaborate with Andy, Ethan, and Jamel on this disposition CRM and the training course. And um, we'd love to help in any type of way we can. What's up, everybody? I'm John Galan. I was a CPA at first, and I found Jamil through the Secret Agent Challenge 1.0 decided to join Astro Flipping and throughout the course of the busy season, I was able to get my first deal done, realized this is a lot more fun than doing taxes and decided to quit my job right after busy season was over. I started uh, doing wholesaling by myself for a little bit. Then I partnered with uh, Helena and we started to just sell multiple deals a month. And now we're currently doing anywhere between 10 to 18 deals a month in Florida alone and we have the intention of building this to a national franchise with the help of our good friend Jamil who's helping us along the way as well and we're very happy to be able to share any of the knowledge we've gained from dispositioning deals uh, and leveraging the Astro Blaster community that Andy has built and Ethan has helped cultivate so yeah very very happy to be part of this. Let's start there because you know maybe uh, the audience isn't familiar with uh, the Astro Blaster system Um, in in a brush you know broad strokes what would you how would you describe the astro blaster system um we help wholesalers uh automate their follow-up with doing agent outreach um via automations and using a little bit of magic from ai awesome so for those of you that are thinking or wondering okay so what does that mean well in a wholesale transaction there's two pieces right? There's the lead, there's the deal, getting the deal under contract or the house under contract. And then there's the selling of that contract, right? That's the dispositions. So Andy created an incredible system that allows you to automate 
your lead generation with a, with real estate agents so that you literally can have a W-2 job or, in his case, be in high school and have follow-up conversations with real estate agents so that they'll send you off-market opportunities, which all of us are making, you know, all kinds of money doing, right? And so Andy built the lead gen system. Ethan is our ops manager at Astro Blaster, so he's a part of that organization. And we were thinking, how do we complete the equation? In any wholesale deal, there's an acquisition and a disposition process, but we really weren't doing anything in the AB community to help with dispo. And that's what brought Helena and John Galan into the mix. So obviously, I run a dispositions company at Keegley, but of course, um, y'all have heard enough from me. And um, I think it was really important to hear from people that are, you know, actively, you know, in the process of selling deals. Like right now, I'm not a dispo rep at Keegley anymore. I own the company. Um, you know, I'm the fun guy that walks around and waves at people these days. And, you know, I'm not necessarily sitting there on the front line all the time. And so uh, there's a lot of things that change. And I think that John and Helena, because they're sitting there on the front lines doing active deals in the disposition seat, uh, had a lot of insights. Uh, you know, of course, many of the insights came from our coaching and things that we did, but they're taking the things that they've learned from me and the things that they've learned on their own and from other people and put that all together in a new dispositions um, training and CRM that is going to be a part of the Astro Blaster suite of uh, products. And so can you guys talk a little bit about what that training is and, you know, what what you guys are bringing to the table for people to help them fill out this whole wholesale equation? Yeah, so uh, part of the training, we pretty much break down like the dispositions process. We talk about like what even is the dispositions process, what's some of the paperwork involved. <clears throat> we even talk about how to fill out some of that paperwork, how to work with other wholesalers, because if you're going to be a big dispositions company, you're not only going to be selling your direct deals, you're also going to be selling deals from other wholesalers. So we teach you some of the best practices with working with other wholesalers as well, as well as how to find buyers, how to talk and negotiate with buyers, how to manage the buyers in your CRM, like if they give you a buy box, how to pretty much strategically keep track of that buy box. So if somebody says, hey, I don't like 1950s or older, you don't send them a 1940 house in an area that they don't like. So it's a little bit of that and some how to scale the disposition side because whenever you're building something, you need to have an intention of what's the end goal for it. Otherwise you're building it blindly. So we kind of help you with trying to start thinking about that now and what you're going to have to think about that we didn't think about when we started scaling our company, um, like as of the documentation prog process and training process and all that stuff. Would you say that one of the promises that people can gain from the processes that you're teaching in that training is how to find uh, uh, more of like, a plethora of buyers who might be able to pay more for specific deals or um, have more buyers so that you have more options so that you can get more for your deals. Yeah, so in the course for the um, tutorial, we, ta we talked about how to find different kinds of buyer um, in different strategies, either it's Airbnb or path split. So no matter what kind of the deal you'll have, you'll have a unicorn buyer for that particular kind of deal. And also because of their unique strategy, they're more likely to pay more for the property compared to your standard fix and flipper. And also we mentioned about how to run numbers, uh, like the offer price and your assignment fee to push the price to the maximum level to make sure you, know, you are not underselling your properties. And also some tactics in terms of uh, instilling the urgency, the formal into buyers uh, and how to negotiate and all that. Uh, I love that, right? Uniquely packaging your deals for a specific strategy. That's an incredible process. And I mean, right now, a pad split buyer, and, and we're seeing this at Keegley, uh, you know, all in, in so many different ways. Houses that wouldn't work for a fix and flip because they're too tight, they will work for a pad split buyer for the income strategy, right? And so, for instance, there was a deal that I bought I did a full case study on, I overpaid for this house, uh, knowingly overpaid for the house, but I wanted to see if I could overpay, if I could, if I could still make money on a house overpaying for it and using the pad split model, then I knew that I'd be able to wholesale more deals because of this exit strategy. And it worked. I was able to overpay for the house. I still was able to renovate it in the same cost that it would have cost us to fix and flip it. But 
in my refi, I was able to refinance all of my down payment money plus an additional 20 grand on top of my down payment money. And I'm cash flowing $2,400 a month right now using Pat's Blitz. So I got a free house essentially um, with $100,000 in equity, $20,000 in my pocket, all of my cash back and $2,400 a month in income. Now, when you are pitching to a pad split buyer or to somebody, that to me is like a no brainer, right? You even talk to somebody who's got private money about that kind of deal and it's a no brainer. So understanding how to pitch these specific deals is really important. Um, and either of you can take this, this question. Have you seen more niche style buyers in the last year or so since interest rates have increased? Yeah, for sure. And I think, you know, Passable is definitely a hot one because it's different from traditional long-term rental. The cash flow is a lot better because you are essentially running it out by room, but it's also a lot safer and less volatile compared to Airbnb and other midterm rental and stuff. So yeah, more people are becoming more creative um, to use different strategy. Um, or some like, you know, having addition, building ADU and all that, just you really like being creative to try to make the numbers work. Um, and with a high interest rate, you know, they have to um, think of different ways of adding value to be able to still make competitive offer on the properties. Awesome. So on the acquisition side, I think it's uh, really interesting to be able to use these niche disposition exit strategies and weave that into acquisitions. How do you think this helps the AB community on being able to lock up deals? I would say it, it works tremendously because you're not going to just be that one that one trick pony. You know, it's not you're not going to be that one individual or that one wholesale investor going to a realtor saying, "Hey, I'm only looking for distressed, beat up, ugly properties." Like, "Hey, you know what? Send me anything that that may make sense as a long term rental." And you're not just evaluating that property as just a long term rental. It may make sense as an Airbnb. It may make sense as a pad split. You're, you're, and if you're able to look at multiple different properties at multiple di different angles you're gonna be able to get a lot more contracts versus the individual that's solely looking at just distressed, beat up, ugly properties. I 100% agree. In fact, a lot of times in the past, I used to shy away from houses that were on busy roads uh, because as a, for a fix and flip, a busy road is a deal killer, right? It's like probably one of the most terrible investment ideas that you can make <laughs> Yep. is to try to fix and flip a house that's on a that's siding backing or fronting a major road yeah i've lost my ass on houses like that multiple times and every time i get myself into one of these types of deals i tell myself never again but guess what the case study that i did for my pad split deal what was it on Funny a major road <laughs> a busy road so this was a house that would not have worked as a fix and flip standardly because it was on a busy street so the best exit was what I, now tell me, most people have been like, yeah, but Jamil, that was risky to buy. Well, mm. let me ask you this. The renters are still there. The cash flow is still there. If I was to walk up to any of you right now and say, hey, do you want a free 20 grand, $100,000 in equity and $2,400 a month? Yep. Give me 12 of them right now. R right? <laughs> so it didn't matter that it was on a major road. It, it made no difference. And yeah. so being able to articulate that to your buyers, I think is really important, which is what I think John and Helena are doing a really phenomenal job at, especially in the dispositions training that we're offering. How do you think this is going to help the Astro Blaster community level themselves up? Actually, the whole thing for Dispo came uh, because there was a lot of people in the, in the Astro community, Astro Blaster community, um, just saying like, hey, I have a bunch of deals, I can't sell them. And um, it was kind of just another problem solution type of deal. Like I saw the huge problem with just helping wholesalers reach out to agents faster and connect that bridge together. Now there's another problem where actually they're getting too many leads and they can't sell them. So um, that's where we need to figure out a solution. How can we empower the AB community to start selling their own deals? Because it's great in the beginning uh, to sell your or to sell your deals through a dispo shop. Um, but once you get past, I would say, you know, three deals a month, it starts because you, if you want to do 30K a month take home, you actually have to shoot for 60 because you're giving up 50 percent to dispo shops. So um, how can we empower the community to start, you know, learning how to sell deals on their own? And that's not to say, you know, dispo shops are, sure. are not great because I have a dispo shop right here. Uh, but uh, in the beginning, totally fine. It's just once you get to a point where you're like, you know, you have your acquisitions figured out, it, it starts making sense to learn how to do dispo. <clears throat> yeah. And in the dispo game, it, it, there is a there is a, a, a 
a timeline. Yeah. Right. So, you know, we won't, for instance, Pace doesn't sell deals through Keeg Lee anymore. He sold his first hundred through yeah. Keeg Lee, but he didn't do more, many more after that. Right. Now, does that make our relationship not good? Of course not. It's phenomenal. We're best friends. But still, he went along and started figuring out how to sell his own deals. Right. Everybody will have that natural progression, right. right? And so since we know that, and of course, when you're first getting started, use Easy Res, use Keegley, use the, these Dispo powerhouses to help you out. But they also are giving you the tools that you need right. to help yourself. Now, of course, I, for instance... For me, it was just always a no-brainer to work with a Dispo because I'm very good at ACK. Now, you might look at yourself and be like, you know what? I really just enjoy the acquisition side. I'm just going to funnel my Dispo work to Easy Res or a Keegly or a New Western or whatever it is um, because that makes sense for me because right. my superpower is acquisitions. Right. Um, but if your superpower is just deals, then you might decide, hey, I need to figure out how to do this. You might even say, you know what? I really like selling deals. Yep, and I want to maybe build my own little dispo list and serve the community that way. Well, that's what you're going to find in this in this training. Now, I overheard uh, talk of a dispo portal. Tell me what that's about. Um, so it's actually been a project um, I've been collaborating with John on for probably about three four months now. Um, and I think you how, how did you first approach me on it? It was like your JV specialist, or you were just spending a ton of time just filtering a bunch of um, bad leads from wholesalers. And essentially, like, the KPI was out of 100 leads, only 90 were, or 90 were garbage and 10 were decent. Yeah, I mean, we got a, a lot of deals coming in a day. And so before we had hired somebody, I used to, I came up with, like, a soft vet process so I could, before I have to underwrite <coughs> all of those deals, because you don't want to have to underwrite 40 deals at a right. time. If you could just quickly see if their deal is good or not straight from the email they send you before you have right. to transition it and underwrite it fully. So I was doing that a lot. And then I taught my um, VA who's who's handling our JVs, uh, like email, how to do the software process manually. I built every a calculator for it. And right. so it's every time, but he was getting a lot more leads as we keep, you know, reaching out and having Jamil help promote us and everything. More leads come in, so that's more people he has to soft vet and then he has to then add. So I was talking to Andy about it and I was telling him how we were doing it with the calculator that I had built. And then he started like saying like, hey, let's make this into like a portal and we can make it look nice so people could submit deals. Mm -hmm. So now it's instantaneous feedback and if it doesn't work for us because it's too, and you'll find out how we soft vet part of the process in the course as well. Um, but it filters it out. So if it's already yeah. not a deal, it'll just say automatically, hey, we're not interested in this home, too far away, and then it won't right. get sent to us. And you'll get instant feedback for the wholesaler. Now, yeah. if it is a deal, they'll put in the information we need right. so we don't have to keep going back and forth and say, hey, we need this, this, and right. that. They'll have to put in certain things, and then they'll click submit deal. It'll send to us. We'll get the email. They'll also get an email back saying, hey, we received your deal, and we're reviewing it. And so it's just instantaneous feedback right away. And then if they want a buy price, they could also submit a buy price yep. using the ARV that they gave us. We'll give them a preliminary number right away. And then within 24 hours, we'll get back to you with our actual buy price number. And everything's in, in the portal. It's one. How far off are people from the ARV they give you and the ARV that you guys actually find? <laughs> Sometimes they're on within 20K, but then there are some times where they're off by like 70, $80,000. Yeah. And so that's why we went during the soft fed, like if it's not a deal at their ARV, it's not going to be a deal at my ARV. I could guarantee you that. So right. that's part of the, like how you vet it out right. without even having to underwrite the deal. And again, I go more into that, into the course, uh, into the, the Dispo course that we just, you know, film with you guys. So uh, if you're wondering what is that, you'll, you'll find that out if you are in the course. Awesome. Pretty much. So guys, if you are listening to this right now and you're like this sounds great it's like wholesale in a can yeah it is <laughs> okay it's wholesale in a can it's pork and beans for wholesale all right but not pork and beans because it's actually tastes good and it's gonna make you rich all right so in the description below we've got links to astro blaster it's the astroblaster.com i highly recommend you take the leap and join the astro blaster community it's like one of the most thriving communities we've got incredible leaders in there constantly growing week after week. Um, and also, when you're at the checkout page, you're gonna have an opportunity to jump in to the Dispo course and make sure you guys hit that upgrade because I'm telling you, you're gonna learn a ton from these guys. And for what you're paying for both of them, you would absolutely be like 
dumber than this dog not to take <laughs> advantage of it. So he's actually not a dumb dog. He's a very, very smart dog. Very intelligent dog. But you want to be smarter than him because you're a human <laughs> being, right? So guys, do me a favor. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And leave us a comment. If you've ever worked with Andy, Ethan, Helena, or John, tell them hello. Also, how do people get a hold of you guys? What are your guys' socials? Start with Andy. Um, it's at official Andy Wrong without the W. Wrong without the W. Ethan dot Armijos. You probably don't want to spell that. A R M I J O S. It's on Instagram. Helena Wu Abundance. H E L E N A W U and the word abundance. You can reach out to me at John Galan R E I. That's J O H N G A L A N R E I. And if you want to see what the portal looks like and submit deals to us in Florida, it's deals D E A L S dot. EasyRes, E-Z-Y-R-E-S dot com. There you got it.